like we showed you the video of our sister uh, Sarah what is her video and we ask you to go watch it huh, here we go look at this this is a religion this is God religion How many of you subscribe to her channel yet? Let me check. I will, I will re, uh, replay the video. She used to have 80 before. Let us see how many of you subscribe. She have 161 only. Guys, what about we give Sarah? She's an ex-Muslim. What about we give her a couple of thousands today? Shall we? Hmm? Support those who join the fight. She's an ex-Muslim. She deserves our support, right? This is Islam. Watch and love. I hope there's no copyright over this music thing. Be careful, Sarah. Okay, I'm muting the music. I don't want to do. All right, let us see when they talk. Secret other wives, real men exclusive. I'm keeping a secret. The God giving right. No woman can take that right amount away from the man. Oh, it's, it's impossible. Islamically, any no one can take that right from the man. It's impossible. The right to if other women. This is my right. Islam is a religion of dignity. The man he cannot keep his penis in his pant. One vagina is not enough. Why people are not listening? Any of us can get a secret second wife. Absolutely. Or any man. Islamically, no. there is no problem Same. in a man getting married to another woman in Misyar without the first wife's knowledge. And the there is no problem in Islam if the man he marry a new wife without the first wife have knowledge. So any stupid women who marry a Muslim man get ready to marry a pervert, a liar, and he is legitimately saying, I have the right to lie to you. I have the right to sleep with other women. This is why we say in Islam there's no marriage. This is a sexual contract. This is a prostitution religion. He hired the first one, is not enough for him. He hired the second one. He have the right to hire as many as he wish, four at the time. He can replace them all second day. It is his right, brother. Explain to us more. There's no, there's no khilaf in this. Yeah. There's no disagreement about it. All Muslims agree. A Muslim man, he can if anyone he want. Halal. It is his right. Men are very understanding. Women don't understand. No man wants to keep a secret. No man wants to go do anything behind his wife's back. You guys are created with certain hormones. Yeah. She is the guilty of the women. The women, you are forcing the man to hide the secret marriage. Filthy, filthy. Women are not good, murder. Because you get upset if the husband, he marry a new woman. Why? Why you get upset? Why? You are forcing us. We are, we are your victims. So the man now is a victim. The Muslim man is the victim. No man wants to keep a secret. No man wants to go do anything behind his wife's back. Uh -huh. You guys are created with certain hormones. Yes. For example, because we're learning here. Yes. You have your period. You have your menopause. You become pregnant, etc. There are so problem, problem, problem. Women, they have period. What we will do? Ali Dawa, he cannot zip his penis inside his zipper for a few days big problem so what we do we need another vagina okay what if the four women they have a period in the same day this is a religion of a pervert This is religion of a pervert. Tell us more. So many factors 
men don't blame women and say, oh, you know, why are you periods? Why are you in menopause for? Yeah. And when it comes to intimacy, a lot of men actually feel deprived. Their, their partners, just they're not as bothered. In fact, what Ali said at the end there was a very good point. Because let's say, for example, a woman withholds from the man sexually. In Islam, this is a kabir amal kabir. Uh -huh. It's one of the major sins of Islam. One of the heavy sins, la'na is born in. If the woman withholds from the man, that the angels will continue cursing them until he works out. Look how this pervert, this pervert, the Quran in chapter 4, verse number 34, says that the man he can prevent the women from having sex with him as a penalty. But if the women, she will not allow the husband to sleep with her because she is angry from him for some reason, angels, brother, angels will curse her. This is a big, big, big sin. This is a big sin. This is the religion of the pervert, the penis. You stop his penis. You stop his penis. Allah will spit on you. Don't you know that Allah, he blessed the penis of Mimi Hijab, which does not exist? In fact, to show you that all of those who they are in this video are a bunch of actors and they are not real. As long it is you cannot have one woman as you explain. How come none of you have second wife? <laughs> is that correct, guys? As long it is my right, a, ma a woman, she have her period, and Allah told us to marry two, not the three, not four. Actually, you know, when I say that, the Muslim, they say you are a liar. Allah says marry one. No, the Quran says, Marry two, starting with two, three, and four. In fact, it's not even two and three and four. The total is nine. This is why the caliphate, they marry nine. Muhammad have nine at the same time. But the Muslim, they have wrong interpretation for the verse. But however, two and the three and four, and if you cannot afford it, then one. So as long you are so strong in proving the details that you have a period, you have etc. You will be written it. You will have a child. So you know. So why you don't marry? Because in the country you live in, if you do that, you go to jail. So what does that mean? What Mimi Hijab and Ali Dawa and those pervert in the video doing? They are sleeping behind the scene. Either they have a secret wife already, or they are going to the Soho in England, having sex with the hookers. The holy hookers of Allah. How many women Allah told you to start with? My advice to the brother is to get married again. He can either do it secretly without her knowledge or not secretly. My advice. If he knows that she would withhold the kids from him, use the state, then do it without her knowledge. Hmm? See? You know who I'm going to blame in this very instance? I'm going to blame the sisters. Yes, yeah, sister, you know you. Would you share your husband? You should share your husband. You should share your husband. Did you say the word share your husband? Listen carefully. Did he, this, did this pervert just say share your husband? Is that my word? Share your husband. Share. I blame the sisters. Yes, yeah, sister, you know you. Would you share your husband? Oh, what happened to your face? You start crying. Sisters are self-sabotaging the other sisters. Feminist sisters who love their sisters, who will die for their sisters, will take a bullet for their sisters, but will not share their husbands for their sisters. How sad. How hypocrite those Muslim women. They don't want to share their Ali, Lili Dawa. So the wife of Lili Dawa now, she have a sign in the front of her door saying, who want to share my husband with me? Already he cannot make it. This is in their YouTube, and this is what they promote. And this is stupid women call me to say to me, Islam is a good religion, and Islam is against fornication. This is nothing but a fornication. This is a religion of lust. You know, if we ask those potatoes when they say that by nature the man is a polygamist, by nature. So why Adam, he have only one Eve? What Adam used to do? He go and watch porn? 
hey Adam, uh, what are you doing? Oh, uh, Allah give me one wife and uh, she have her period. What the heck? Why you are watching porn? First of all, I'm not watching porn. I'm watching brother uh, Andrew Tate's uh, videos and they are halal, he's a Muslim. Those are blessed by Allah. Ah, Andrew Tate. Uh, why you are watching Andrew Tate uh, uh, masturbating? Shouldn't you be watching women? Not why you are watching him? Oh, he's a he's a he's a guy. You don't know that he's a guy. So why you have a penis? Well, you never know these days. Men, women, they have penises. You never know. As you know, I'm the first man. I don't have too much sexual education. Ah, you are the first man. You have no idea. Exactly, and not go to school like you, you know. Tell us more, Ridawa. I like that Sarah, she is copying but the title I gave him, Lily. Why you are so obsessed with the plogomy? That's a good question. When we're talking about this topic, some people come and say to me, Why are you so obsessed? People come to me and go, Brother Ali, why are you so obsessed with this polygamy thing? Yeah, okay, even my wife says, Why are you so obsessed with it? Yeah, <laughs> the, the reason I say is, Wallahi, billahi, wa tillahi, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is my witness. Yeah, okay, this is breaking the family unit. This is breaking the family unit. In fact, there's no family in Islam. In fact, there is no family in Islam. What family? In Islam, there's a family. Do you call what you are just saying to us a family? This is a family. The nature. Mm. Okay, starting from Dawood, yeah? Would you say you are polygamous by nature? Are you polygamist by nature, Dawood? Sure, sure I am. Yeah, 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 absolutely. If your wife was totally okay with it, yeah, zero <laughs> problems, mm -hmm. you come back home and she's cooking a meal, bro. you just got married, Yeah. would you get a second wife? Yeah. As a man, would you not say you are polygamous by nature? It doesn't mean you have to act upon it, but would you not say that every man is polygamous by nature? That if their wives were totally okay with it... I think Adam, he used to have four wives, but the Quran did not tell us that, you know? Uh, Muhammad, he said there's uh, Hawa, uh, Eve, but uh, maybe, I mean, maybe Allah, he made four later, you know, I mean, he like multiply. No consequences that they would do it. Every man is polygamous by nature. You guys are monogamous by nature, meaning you are, you just want your husband and you're happy with your husband. We are. Allah, he created women with the wrong nature. This is what Lili Hijab is saying. Women, by nature, they want only one man. First of all, you pervert, muta boy. Who said that there's no women like to sleep with many men? I'm sure there's many. As an example, Aisha. Aisha, she slept with many men during her marriage to Muhammad. And this is why even there's verses in the Quran, Allah, he made the verse to cleanse Aisha from the accusation that she slept around. Aisha, she said, we used to send young slaves, she decorated young slaves, which means she put makeup on them, she made them wear nice sexy clothes, and she sent them between the tribe of Quraysh. And she said, properly, we can hunt some of the youth of Quraysh. Remember, Aisha is very young. When Muhammad, he died, she is 18, 17, going in the 18, did not complete even the 18 yet. Let me show you the hadith. Uh -huh. Look at this, and I will show you, this is from a book of the Muslim Sunni, not from the Shia. This is not Shia book, this is Sunni. 
I will show you the reference. I will show you the page. I will show you all the reference you need. This is the book of Ibn al-Musannaf. The name of the book is al-Musannaf. The writer is Ibn Abi Shayba. Very number three, page number 461. People, do you see the reference? And this is the link. Let me give it to you. Aisha herself, Muhammad is an old man. And if you are a very old man, obviously, and even we have tons of reference in the hadith, Muhammad himself, he said he was the most weak person between all mankind in boom, boom. So how Aisha, even there is a verse in the Quran speaking about that when Aisha, she touched Muhammad here, his penis could not stand up. And we can show you that from the interpretation. And Muhammad, he said to Aisha, did your shaitan came to you now? What do you want? Aisha, she wants sex. Muhammad cannot have it. Read with me carefully. Hadith number 2591696. Hadathana Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr, he says, from Waqiya, from, 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 she said that Aisha showafat jariya watafat biha waqalat la'allana nastadu biha shabab Quraysh. She made, she displayed a slave girls, you see the prostitution, chapter 30, you know, when we mentioned the, the chapter uh, 24, about prostitution, this silly woman, she said, no, it's haram, nowhere it says haram. And this is Aisha herself doing prostitution. They use the slave girls as a prostitute business. And this is Aisha herself practicing that. And what is the target? To hunt some young men of Quraysh. Let us translate. Again, we show you the reference first. Very number three, page number 461. The mus uh, the Musannaf, the translation scales the workbook. It's, it's called the Musannaf. Musannaf is like, a, you know, like, you know, if you have a file, you know, the file, like you put things in together. And this is the name of the author. He's a very Muslim Sunni terrorist, not a Shia. And this is the Hayat number, 259, between two bracket 1697. What they said about slave girls being taken around. Do you see, guys, the title? Do you see the title? In Arabic, it says, Shawafat, Tafat Biha. She took a slave girls and she make her walk around. They are forcing those girls. Nobody wants those girls to want to do that. But they are slaves. They force them into prostitution. And now, why Aisha she is doing that? Because she wants to hunt some young men of Quraysh so they can F her. In the authority of Aisha that she said, she showed a slave girl and she sent her around. And she said, perhaps will hunt with her some youth of Quraysh. Do you see it? Any Muslim have a comment? Somebody saying to me, can you expose Muhammad in one verse? So what I'm doing all my life? Any of those verses are enough to prove Muhammad to be fraud. If all the verses we showed you and all the stories we showed you, is you are still asking, can you expose Muhammad in one verse? Do we have any Muhammadan? Aisha herself, she is practicing prostitution. And she is a prostitute, obviously. The truth, my friend, about Muhammad, that he is a pervert, and he created the religion of pervert. The truth about Jesus, that Jesus is holy. And he come to us with the command of the Holy God. The pervert Muhammad, he sat in the front of his house. And when a woman, she walk by, 
He keep looking at her ass until he got horny. You see how decent he is? While well, Jesus said, if your eye will fail you, you better un unblock it. Unblock it. Like if Muhammad, like let's say he's in love with the women, like he's Romeo and Juliet, even if they're not married, I would say, you know what? There is something there, you know, but this guy is a pervert. He have a house full of women, sex slaves, servants, maids, and the wives. And as long Mimi Hijab and those that are saying that the person is born as a polemicist. So how a Christian they can survive? How they can stay. So what a single man would do then? He will start having sex with the goats? In Islamic countries they do. How many of you subscribe to Sarah? And I'm trying just to support this lady. She's an ex-Muslim. Let us see how many. Two hundred sixty-nine. You guys are not helping. Yeah. This is religion of a pervert. And the funny is, they go in public and they speak about this. Only pervert will say such a thing. This is breaking the family unit. Okay, starting from Dawood, yeah? Would you say you are polygamous by nature? If your wife was totally okay with it, yeah. zero <laughs> problems, mm -hmm. you come back home and she's cooking a meal, bro, you just got married. Yeah. Would you get a second wife? Yeah. Sure, As a sure. man, would you not say sure. you're polygamous by nature? It doesn't mean you have to act upon it. But would you not say that every man is polygamous by nature? That if their wives were totally okay with it, no consequences, that they would do it. Every man is polygamous by nature. You guys are monogamous by nature, meaning you are, you just want your husband and you're happy with your husband. We are not created like that. Uh, None of you guys are. We are not created like that. We are not. No. Amimi uh, 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 Hijab. Uh, let, let me show everybody how stupid you are, muta boy. A woman, she can sleep with 100 men. A man, he cannot. So who is the one created for that? <laughs> is that correct, guys? If we, want, if we go with this stupid guy, a man, he have to take a Viagra. This is why Islamic countries are number one consumers in the world of a Viagra. As an example, if you search right now for who buy Viagra in Egypt. Hello? Hello? You are you are calling me son of Muta? Yes, because your Bible allow Muta in Deuteronomy chapter 21 verse 10 to 14. Okay, so uh, we will go uh, Muta. Uh, in the Deuteronomy it says you can do Muta. And yes, let's go. in the Quran, does it say that too? Let us go to the tournament chapter 12. Jump, 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 jump. Okay, we will go. So, if if it, it I want to I want to understand what you are saying. Okay. If Abdul. if if the Bible, listen, 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 listen. If Abdul. the Bible Abdul. says, hold on, hold on, we will go. Why you are why you are so excited? Hold on. You said you said the tournament. What uh, what chapter? Verse 10 to 14. Let's go no, no, what, what, what? Sorry, sorry, don't be excited. Chapter 21, verse 10 to 14, son of Muta. Go there, let's okay. go there. Son of Muta. So if I call you son of Muta, is okay? I'm calling you son of Muta. You're the son of Muta now. Okay, we will see who is the son of Muta or not. Okay, read for me. Okay, read for me the chapter of the Trinomy, okay. uh, uh, verse okay. number 21. Okay, in summary, when you marry a woman, you bring her to your house. Then later on, you will divorce her because you humiliated her. You force her. The Bible commanded to force a woman into into sex. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, uh, uh, guys, uh, guys, listen carefully. Uh, this oh, Abdul. Okay, what verse? Abdul. You are, what verse you are reading? What verse you are reading? Yeah. 
What verse you are reading? I said Deuteronomy chapter 21, verse 10 to 14. Uh, what? Deuteronomy. I'm reading the Bible. Slowly, slowly. Why you are you speaking like so fast? Can't you be slow? A little bit? I said. Uh huh. I said. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, the, the verse, the verse I, number. I will, I'm putting the verse in the screen. Okay. Deuteronomy uh -huh. 21. Uh huh. Verse 10 to 14. Verse what? Verse 10 to 14. 10 to 14. Okay. What what it says? Read for me. You post it in the screen. Read it. You put it in the screen. Read it. Read it. Okay. okay. You read it. How we go? This is the Trinity, chapter 21, verse 10 to 14. Mm -hmm. Okay. What it says? Read it. That's what I'm where, where is the Mutahid and say, okay, when you uh, go forth war against enemy, and the Lord God has delivered delivered them into nine hands, etc. Where is where is the and the uh, and seized among the captive a beautiful woman and has desire into her that you would wouldest have her as a wife. You see, it says as a wife. Mm -hmm. Okay. Continue, continue. Okay. Then thou shalt bring her home and to thine house and shall shave her head and bear her nails. And she shall put a uh, remnant in her uh, captive, uh, her captive, from of her, and shall remain in thin house and be well her father and her mother a full month. And after that, thou shall go into her, and her husband shall be the wife. And what is the muta? Okay, and it shall be if thou have no delight in her, then you shalt let her go with her. With uh, 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 yeah, uh, she will, uh, she will, but thou shall not, huh? You have humiliated her because you have forced her. Yes, that is the end. That's what the verse is. Okay, okay, okay. So, so okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, first of all, he married her, he did not buy her. Do you know what Mutai is? Do you know what Mutai is? Let, let me tell you. The Bible says you can marry, you can force her into, into sex. This is, this is, this is, no. First of all, this is a slave girl. She was captured. And if you want to sleep with her, you can sleep with her without marrying her. So she is married. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. And now, if you don't want her no more, you let her. You let her go. Now, I'm asking you, your prophet, you're a prophet in the Quran. How many women he raped and he did not marry? All of them. So listen, listen. So this is not muta, you stupid donkey. Muta is you paying a woman, and she agree. So excellent of muta. Listen, listen. A woman, a woman and a man, they agree to go to bed by payment. This is not a woman marrying you. This is a woman prostituting you. This is what muta is. That's why it's called muta. What muta mean? Muta mean sexual joy. Is that correct? That's exactly what the Bible okay, says. no, this is a wife. No, this is a wife. If you want to marry her, not only that, she have to shave her hair. She stay away from you for 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 a long period until her hair grow before you can touch her. Why? Because now she is mourning for her lo losing her her, her people. She, she just came from war. She is just ca being captured. So she is now need time for healing. And you cannot sleep with her unless she is m your wife. You're a prophet. He slept with with with, with the uh, 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 with the Jewish women before even she passed over her father' dead body. He made a tent in the corner of the town and he effed her. And he did not uh, ask her to marry him. Did she marry him? He asked her hand. Not only that, he killed her husband. He killed her father. So you are very confused, it's stupid, like your prophet. This is not muta. This is marriage. In Islam, in Islam. I want you to say yes or no. Hold on. We are, we are talking. In Islam, muta is you have to pay the women. You have to pay the women in return of favor of sex. Yes or no? The Bible says you force the woman. For, this, is a, this, is, this is a slave. This is a slave girl from war. She has no choice what she will do. So, But you cannot have sex with her unless you marry her. You have to take her as a wife. You have to take her as a wife, not as a sex slave. Muhammad, what? he received tons of women as sex slaves and he raped them all, did not marry them. As an example, 
Mary the Copt, she was a gift to Muhammad. She is not even from war. She was a gift from Al Muqawqas, from Egypt. He gave him hundreds of kilograms of gold and he slept with her. And then he's, according to Muslim, even have a child from her. His name is Ibrahim. And they call her Umm Ibrahim. So Muhammad did not marry her. He was sleeping with her and he forced her into sex. The same as Zainab, the same as the rest. So now I'm asking you, I'm asking you, in Muta, in Muta, is it true that you have to pay the women in return exchange for sex, yes or no? There is, there is no Muta in the Quran, so I don't care about Muta, but it is in your Bible. No, no, this is not the, this is not the Quran. You are, you are a fraud, like your prophet. It says you pay them their wages while you are lying. We will put the Quran in the screen. Everybody will hear you. And either you are lying or I'm lying. Here we go. And not only that, we can open the interpretation and see if Muta is paying women for sex. Are you ready? I, uh, I don't care what you believe. You're, you, you are a coward. You are a liar. You're practicing, you're, you're practicing uh, Muta now, you're practicing Taqiyya. Are you saying to me, hold on, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen, so listen. So in the Quran, which, which interpretation for the verse you like me to open the screen and put for you? Of the Quran, which, the Quran. which interpretation? Okay, which interpretation you want to read? The Quran verse itself, bring it up. So, are you saying to me that the Muslim scholars they don't agree with you? The Quran. I will open the Quran. Okay, I have the Quran and I have the interpretation. Both of them they say you have to pay women for sex. Listen, listen, listen. You have to pay women. You have to pay women for chapter four, verse number twenty-four. Can you read it for us? Go ahead. Read for us. Which chapter? You don't even know what chapter we're talking about. So you call me to talk about Muta, but you do not know you stupid donkey son of Muta. Where in the Quran is speaking about Muta? You never heard of it. You do not know what it is. And now you are saying to me a chapter. When I ask you about Deuteronomy, because I said to myself, there is no Muta. So give me the chapter name. You are a liar. So now you are saying, are you saying you never heard that the Muslim, they practice Muta? I challenge you to show me the, the verse of the Qumutai in the Quran. It's in front of you, chapter 4, verse 24. Okay, chapter 4, verse 24. Uh-huh, yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, Are you ready? I'm listening. What listening? I'm waiting for the answer. Does it say, does it say you have... You have to pay them their wages. For those who have enjoyed your marriage, pay them their dowry. This is talking about what, what, is, the, what is the where is the word where is the where is the word marriage? From the context it starts from verse twenty three. Where where, 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 where is the where is the word where is the word marriage? Where is the word marriage? Where is the word marriage? From the beginning, my uh, forbidden unto you a woman already married, except so the verse is speaking about women. If you start from verse 23, you can come to conclusion that it is married. Uh, you're talking about marriage. Okay, let us start. Like let, let us start slowly. Slowly, people are dying laughing at you. So it's forbidden for you married women except your slaves. So the Quran just said you can have yes. sex with married women, correct? Not slave. The Quran says those whom you write and possess, those who flee away from their husbands. Listen, listen. What to flee? What to flee? They are married. They are captive. You are a coward, liar, like your prophet. You just said it's forbidden for you married women except, except what? Captive. Why you are lying? No, not captive. Not captive. Okay. It's, it says here, Malikatul Yameen, the one you own by your hands. It says, it says those whom you write and possess, those who flee. Okay, read with me. Okay. Uh, guys, they flee, they flee. Okay, they say here, own captured slave girls. Do you see the word capture? No, it is not slave. No. It says here, okay, this is Tafsir al and Everybody is dying laughing at you. You are a hypocrite, potato, and you spank yourself. So now we learn from the Quran, you can not only, you see the Bible verse you gave me, those women are virgins. They are not married. They are not even allowed to take a married woman. Here, listen, shut up, potato. Here, this is a married woman. She have a husband. She have a husband and he is alive. Even they come to Muhammad and I can show you the hadith. They said to him, are we going to sleep with them with women? We know their husband. We know their husband. They are our friends. He said, so what? Let, let me, let me, let me, the, the biblical verse that you brought on is telling you to force a woman into sex. The later the boss are. Listen, answer. So, does it say that you have, you can now pay women, and those women are you don't pay them, those are you force them to sex. Now, here it says 
that you can do muta. What what is the word? What is the word is mean? Let's go to the Quran. I show you why We are in the Quran, potato. I was in the Quran because you are a donkey. You speak Arabic. You thought I'm reading something else. This is Quran. What the word from yeah. mean? Go ahead. No, you you tell us. So that we can know. We can know. What so you do not know. So you do not know what I'm saying. So are you saying you do not know what I just said? Okay, okay, let us assume I don't know. No, tell you do us, not know. Us. No, no, say it, say it, say it, say it. Say that you are a donkey. You do not know what I just said. Okay, let, let us assume we don't know. Tell no, us, no, tell not us. assume. No, okay. Then if you assume, no, I don't want you to assume. I want you to tell me what I just said. What I just said. We assume that we don't know. So I no, I don't want you to assume. No, I don't like assuming things. I want to have your knowledge. I don't like assuming things. I want to have your knowledge. What does that mean? Why don't you don't tell us in the front of your family? I know. Are you, I will give you the verse. You tell me the meaning. Go ahead. Read it. Why, why don't you tell us? I, 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 I told you. I told you. This is Muta. I want to catch you. You tell. I'm I told you. Tell you this is Muta. I told you. This is Muta. This is about having sex with women, paying them money, wages, in exchange for sex. And we can open all the interpretation of the Muslim scholars. Do you want to challenge me? No. I believe only in the Quran. So ah, Quran so you are saying that the Muslim scholars agree with me, not with you, and you are the one who is honest. I agree with the, I agree with the Quran, not uh, any any post. Who cares who you agree with? You are a scumbag like your prophet. I agree with the Quran only. Okay, as long as you agree with the Quran only. <laughs> in the Quran, hold on. In the Quran, in the Quran, it says that you uh, you pay women wages for sex right no, no, no. That's, that's it. you lied. it's in the front of you what's wrong with you alas for those who you enjoy in your marriage pay them their you know their dowry the money for so for the, the money of your marriage what is the word dowry for those who you have enjoyed pay them there what their is what is the word dowry no you you tell us it's there no, I see here in front of me it says Ujurahun. Ujurahun means their wages. Yes, their wages, yes. Okay, so you are paying women. Thank you. Now, finally, we agree about, upon something. You agree to pay women wages for what service? For, for your marriage, yes. Mm. No, it says yep. for what you enjoy of it, her, her vagina. No. Okay, I, I, I want to go with you. Here, Ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet, saying, This is Zawajul Muta. No, I believe only in the Quran. The Quran doesn't say that. Okay, no problem. You don't believe in the, what he is saying, but why he is saying that? Do you think he is a Jew? I said I don't care. I care. No, you should care. This is the one. He is the companion of Muhammad. He is the cousin of your prophet. And Muhammad himself, he practiced Muta. So I'm asking no. you, I'm asking you, no. why your scars, the highest one of them, they say, this is Zawaj al Muta, this is paying women for sex. I said, I said all this is a lie. The Quran does not say that. So why he's saying that then? Can you have me excuse? Like what he's, what, are you, do you think he is an enemy of Allah? What about Ibn yes. Kathir? What about Ibn Kathir? What about Ibn Kathir? I'll tell you something. When, uh, tell, tell me, Muslim tell me something. Tell me something. What about Ibn Kathir? Why Ibn Kathir is saying the same? Why Ajalalain is saying the same? Why all the Muslim scholars saying the same? What do you think? I said when someone could take talk something, quote him. Don't say that it is in the Quran. Well, it is not in the Quran. Say that Ibn Kathir said this. Don't say that the Quran said this. Don't exchange Ibn Kathir or any other person with the Quran. So stop to. Uh, so you are lying. so you are saying Ibn Kathir is lying, Ibn Abbas is lying, Al Qurtubi is lying, Al Jalalain is lying, and all of you Muslims are a bunch of liars. So now why I want to believe you? You don't even speak Arabic. So how do you know what the verse mean if you do not know how to read it? No, you don't know how to read it. I, okay, okay. I, okay we are, listen, I listen, listen. How, how you found us. out? How you find yes, out that the? You. How you found out that the verse doesn't say that if you don't speak the language? Because because the verse doesn't say that. Because what? Because the verse doesn't say, does not say that. How you know the I, verse doesn't I, say I, that? How the verse doesn't say that, but you cannot read the verse. I want you to tell us the meaning so that I can I can catch you in your in your text. I just you know? I just showed you the meaning. I showed you the Islamic interpretation of the meaning, not mine. 
This is the highest scholar of Islam, Ibn Abbas. We can open Ibn Kathir. We can open the Qurtubi. Listen, listen. Here, this is your Muslim website. Hold on. Shut up. Shut up. Listen, uh, Abdul. I like you, by the way. I'm going to make you an admin when my uh, when my chat is closed. From now on, you are an admin in my chat. By the way, I like you, but only when the when the chat is closed, nobody there. So listen, the four pillars of Muta. This is al Islam dot org. It says here. The, the, this is a Muslim website. They are explaining what Muta. They say. They say, shut up, shut up, let me talk, they are saying here, a Muslim woman doing muta is a mustajra, rented woman, read, it says here, I will read, let me read, let me read, let me read, let me read, you don't know how to read, you are literate like a prophet, right? It says here, it says, shut up, in some work, a special term is applied to women who participate, shut up, muta, mustajra, or rented women, rented women, son of Muta. So in Christianity, we don't have women, they are rented. My dad, he did not rent my women, my, my, his, his wife. He married only one woman all his life. For more than 40, 45 years, he never knew any other women all his life. And you, son of Muta, you rent women for one night stand. Your prophet said in the Hadith, any, any believe, shut up, any believe in women and a man, they like to share the bed together to three days, three nights, they can do that. Is that true or your prophet is a fabricator too? I said those narrations that are attributed to the prophet is false, I believe only in the Quran. So you are saying, okay, so now we, we added more information from you that you Muslims are a bunch of liars, you fabricate hadith, your prophet did not say, and then you put it in the authentic book of Al-Bukhari. That's wonderful news. This is your prophet says, any man, and the Muslim, they added the word marriage, but the fact, nowhere it says that, it says, any man and women, they agree to, look, look, look at the Muslim translation, to marry temporarily. <laughs> I don't care. I care what the so potato, 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 potato. Hold on. Why, why the, why the Muslims, why the Muslims, they are fabricating those hadith? What, what do you think? What is the reason behind it? Your books allow mutayas or no? No, we got you busted. You are just a kid now. I gave you a chance. <laughs> your book allow muta. Muta, your stupid is to pay the women for sex. Just, just go, just go, potato. Bring me an, an adult, he can talk to me. Your book and Lord Muta. You see, even in the thousands of years ago, thousands of years ago, before the holy tribe of Muhammad is born, a man he cannot have sex with his own captured women from war. The enemy they used to capture the Jewish women and they raped them immediately. No mercy. And all of us, we knew that the Jews, they practice the law of Moses, eye for an eye. But the eye for an eye, but they don't do evil. He don't go and rape the women. If you want to sleep with her, he have to marry her. Take her as a wife. Not as a slave girl for sex. And she is a virgin. Here, we see free men, free women, practicing the free will of exchange of sexual service, pervert God. And the Muslim, they have no shame, as you see, this is their website. Muslim women, she practice rental. A Muslim man, he rent her. And here they are explaining to us the formula. Look, they have a formula. There's formula for muta, and this potato he deny it's there. So all those Muslim website shakes videos speaking about muta, it's turned to be a lie. It's not there. I don't care. You think if you say I care, I don't, you know, you, you fix it. We are laughing. The formula, since it's the, the contract of muta, contract, you see it's a contract, it's a sex contract, required declaration and acceptance as permanent the same as permanent marriage but it's not the declaration is the following you have to say in arabic too uh, you cannot say it in english you know so what is the what is the what what you would do 
Simply, you will say to the woman, I want to have sex with you for three hours. You have to tell her the timing. In person. First, it has to be in person, not online. Then, you have to mention the period you will F each other. So, if you say three hours, when the three hours is done, you cannot sleep with her no more. Automatic machines. The coins, because depend how much coins you put in the machine, you paid the women for sex, time and period. So, the temporary, they call it temporary marriage, you believe it? The time period of temporary must be de 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 like de detailed, must be mentioned clearly how much it is no possibility to increase or decrease you say three hours is three hours and here is saying according to Sheikh al ansari blah 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 okay uh, with such a contract concluded for the purpose of rental since it was pointed out above the women take certain legal uh, 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 like character of rented property the Muslim women she is a rented property you go to rent a car in the airport you have to sign an agreement they will not give you the keys she is a rented pro property this is the Muslim women in the case of temporary marriage which began after the period of blah 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 let us go down in the contract of rental such a sentence are always invalid. So now I'll tell you what you should say in the contract of rental. When you rent this woman, you have to do it right. See, they are teaching Muslims how to rent. Like they are talking here, some as renting a house. Look at this. Renting a woman, same as renting a, uh, in a house. You rent for a period. So if you rent the house for six months, you leave the house when it is six months. If you rent the women for three hours, one day, three days, you have to leave her vagina in the end of the period. That's it. I mean, what's what's wrong with you? The money now, they are calling the door. It says here, even if it's defined as rental, that is also different from exchange. Hence, it's sufficient that is any possibility of misunderstanding, which might arise not seeing that the word to be removed so anyway what they are saying to you here if you read the explanation that you have to make it clear how much you will pay her for the sexual service she gave you you pay her as you agree both of you you don't tell her at the end oh you did not uh, uh, you know bend over as i wished you have to pay her what you promise decent decent muslims yeah and this guy is saying it you know in islam the son of Muta. This is a new religion, you stupid. And as you see, those are real Muslim website. Anyone can go right now and search for the four pillars of Muta. You have even four pillars for prostitution. I wonder why not five. Rented women. What is the purpose of this? Rented women. What we are renting. We are rented a vagina. And look what the Muslim man will say. You have to say it in Arabic. I have given you as a, a gift. This is the money. I have rented you. She answer. She say, I have lent to you. So you say to her, I am renting you. She say, yes, I rent myself to you. And this potato, you see, each time we show them something, you say, this woman, she called me in the beginning. She said, you show the hadith. You show, I don't care what the hadith says. I don't say care what the scar says. So you care for who? Then who says, who is the one who teach you? Your prophet. If we search right now, if in Islam a Muslim can be considered as a Muslim if you refuse the hadith, like total refuser, 
No, he's not a Muslim. This is an official terrorist website from Qatar, I guess. What is the title? Refutation of those who quote Holy Quran and uh, to reject and justify not acting upon it. Upon what? About Sunnah, Hadith. There are some people who claim that the Quran is written uh, that the Prophet Muhammad once told something to his wife and she told that to someone that the Prophet Muhammad was not happy. Here is the answer. The answer, if you don't follow the Hadith, you are not a Muslim. Islam is based in two main foundations. Read with me. It's not based on the Quran alone. In fact, it's based on the Hadith way more because the Quran is an empty book. The Quran is about the ant is talking. Suleiman is flying with a flying carpet. Suleiman, he dies standing with the stick. Nobody noticed him for a year. The sperm coming from the backbone of the man. Women have a semen coming from their nipples. This is what the Quran teach. But you notice today, every single Muslim called us, said, he don't care what the hadith says. He don't care what the scholar said. We knew why they are saying that. Because simply, they are trying to avoid the embarrassment and to prove them wrong. But you cannot be a Muslim unless you accept the two foundation of Islam, which is what Muhammad said, and the Quran, and by the way, even the Quran is what Muhammad said. Where the Muslim they get the, the Quran from? From the Hadith. When Muhammad he died, and the Muslim they start dying, they could not collect all the Quran as the Muslim themselves they report. They collected only what they were able to collect from the Hadith. The Quran itself was nothing but a form of Hadith, never was a book. Somebody saying how that can be based in the prophetic sunnah if the prophet says, don't try it from me. Well, uh, the answer is very simple. The Muslim, they will say to you, even if he did not say, write it down, but he did not say, don't tell it. Don't share it. He don't want it to be written down. And this is the same for the Quran. Muhammad never command the Muslim to collect the Quran, to write the Quran. In fact, the Quran made a promise that Allah is the one who will collect the Quran. And this is again proving the Quran to be a false book. Because when the Quran says, Inna alayna jam'uhu wa Quranahu, it is on us to collect and, and, and recite. Here we go. Jam'uhu wa Quranahu. It is on us, chapter 75, verse number 17. This is why the Muslims in the time of Muhammad life and even after his life, they did not really have any Quran. It was a, a person who suggest we should collect the Quran. One of the caliphate, he was not a caliphate yet, he says why we should do something the Prophet did not say to do. He was against collecting the Quran, make it in a book. The one who decided to collect the Quran, it was Uthman. And right away he burned all other collections, people written without permission from Allah. Why? Because there's differences. Otherwise, why you want to burn the Qurans of the Quran? And just to make it more funny, today we don't have neither the Quran of Uthman or any Quran. They have zero page of the Quran. Allah, he promised that he is the one who will collect the Quran. Why he did not?
Do we have any Muslim he don't want to speak so fast and he is uh, going to allow me to speak? So people, both of us, we can be heard. You notice that those, you know, I, I love African people, but I notice that Muslims who live in Africa, they are so desperate to defend their false prophet. And I find it very funny, you as a black person, you are the last one, the last one ever to defend Islam, to join Islam. Look what your filthy scumbag, racist God, Akka Muhammad said. All non-believers in the day of judgment, Allah will make them black. It doesn't say that, CP. All believers, Allah will make them white. Chapter 3, verse 106. What is the penalty for you when you are a sinner in Islam? It turned to be black. What is the reward for you if you are a good person who kill your neighbor, rape your wife, you know, uh, attack the Jews and the Christian, the Hindus, you will be so white. It doesn't say that, CP. It's in the front of you. And this is your Muslim translation. Not only that, if you go to chapter 27, verse number hmm, 27, I think it's 82. Let us see. Let us see how good my memory is still. It's not easy when you are like 120 years old. You know, let us see. Ah, good memory. Ah, not like Muhammad, he forgot his name. He said to Khadija, Where am I? What's happening? إِذَا وَقَعَ الْقَوْلُ عَلَيْهِمْ أَخْرَجْنَا لَهُمْ دَابَةً مِنَ الْأَرْضِ According to the Quran, Allah will send down from the ground a beast. That's Allah. And that beast will recite Quran. And that beast will come with the magical stick, or rebooter, will have the ring of Solomon, yes, brother, and the staff of Moses. All my life. I wanted to have the staff of Moses. The beast will emerge from the earth and with it will be the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon. Sit down, please. Sit down. The story is getting more exciting. Turn the light off. And listen carefully. A beast is coming from the ground. This beast is not normal. holding with one hand a staff of Moses. With the other hand, the ring of Solomon. He will strike your nose. He will strike your nose. Sorry, doctor, commercial break. Okay, if you have a problem with your nose and you have a lot of boogers because you are a Muhammad or like Muhammad, Please feel free to take the booger and put them in the wall of the Kaaba. As the Hadith shows, the Prophet used to go around the Kaaba and clean the boogers from the walls of the Kaaba and the snot. So if you have a problem with boogers or snot, call us immediately. We have a special promotion, boogers.com. End of commercial. I have to stop talking because this is staff and this beast touched my heart. A beast coming from the ground and he have a staff in his hand.
I don't know where I saw that before. Beast with the staff of Moses. Mm. Okay. Now I know. Now I remember. I saw it before, but I wasn't sure. And now I'm very sure, you know. I mean, sometimes you don't know. I mean, you see things, you know, like you don't know what you're talking about until you remember. Uh, the beast will come from the ground and is going to have the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon. Oh. Ooh. Brother, Prophet Muhammad, he don't lie. And if you say or accuse him of lying, you better say goodbye. Because Islam is peace of shit. I mean, <clears throat> peace of peace. So, peace, uh, peace. Islam is peace. <clears throat> <coughs> I did not say that. I did not say that. So, brothers, look at this. Look at this. Hmm. The staff of Moses. The ring of Solomon. All the power. All the power in one hand, in one beast. Full control of the earth. And now the beast will use them to play karate. He will strike your nose. The nose of the disbeliever with the staff. And he will make the face of the believer bright and white. If you are a lady and you like to take a suntan, I feel sorry for you. As you see, the prophet working hard to make you whiter, yet you want to get darker. What's wrong with you? And scientifically, it's proven that those things can cause cancer. The prophet of Allah is thinking about you. He wants you to be white. Here we have more details. And we have the description of the beast. I find it very, very astonishing. Its head is like the head of a bull. Uh -huh. What I saw that? Hmm. Uh, that John Biden. Okay. Its eyes like the eyes of a pig. And uh, Nancy Pelosi. Its ears like the ears of an elephant. Oh boy, this is a chef. Its horn like the horn of a, a stag. Oh boy, uh, this is a Budweiser. It's neck like the neck of an ostrich. Neck of an ostrich? Huh. This is the CIA. They are taking their neck to spy at us, as the report about the Trump says. It's just like a chest of a lion. Ah. Don't talk about me, please. It's color like the color of a tiger. Oh boy. That's my cousin. It's hinges like the hinges of a cat. Ah. They are talking about women again. It is tail like the tail of a ram. Oh, no. Don't even go there. Ram? Do you know this is a famous name in India? What are you talking about? And its legs are like the legs of a camel. Please don't touch that camel who was a stink by the scorpion. Your foot will melt, as the video says. Between each pair of joints, a distance of 12 cubits. Look how small he is. 12 meters. The distance between the joints only. The, just, just between the joints. Do you know how many joints we have? And do you know how many joints the animal he have? The distance between the joints is 12 arms only. Only. Hmm. And then it will bring out with it the staff of Moses and the ring of Suleiman. 
There will be no believer left without making a spot, white spot in his face. Goal, 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 goal. Brother, I feel so happy for you. You got the white spot in your face. He hit you with the white spot. You are the winner. We have a winner. We have a Muslim brother. He got a white spot in his face and which will spread until all his face is shining white as a result. How beautiful. How nice. We should dance. Again and again because this is so fun. I will be white. You cannot be serious. I cannot explain how I feel. Very beautiful. I will be white. How beautiful. Who of you is not really touched by such a beautiful promise? We will be white. I will be white. My black cat will be white. I don't have a cat, by the way. How romantic. Oh, romantic promise. As a result. And there will be no disbeliever left without making a black spot in his face, which will spread into his face is black as a result. Uh, I was happy. Now I am sad. I, 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 Abdul, is, is it like a penalty to be a black? What's wrong with being black? I want to know how in the world this is have to connect it with sin and punishment. Why Allah making all the Muslim believers white? And all non-Muslims is black. Any Muslim can tell me? Huh? Very romantic religion. It's against racism. Prophet Muhammad was pink. He dressed pink. He loved. You know, the Muslim, they make videos. They make Muhammad like he was a pinky man. He's the pink panther. He's funny. He's nice. He's peaceful. He's loving. He's not racist. Do we have any Muslim? And here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. You can, you can search in your side. Ibn Kathir. I can post the link, this one, with you. But this website, you have to go exactly here. Choose 27, chapter 27, verse number 82. Because this website doesn't give really like a specific link for the thing. Is the Shahada the mark of the beast? No. No. What does it have to do with the mark of the beast? Muhammad is a beast, and we do not need a mark to prove Muhammad to be a beast. Somebody saying, I wonder how CP look like. My friend, you don't want to wonder. You know, when I was young, long time ago, I used to sell my pictures for women who have children. Their sons are troublemaker. They show my picture once and he behaved for the rest of his life. I heard actually many of them, they show it twice and then their sons, they need like a shrink, like they have psychology problem after that. Like, you know, they can't think right. They are scared always. They are afraid of light. They don't want to look at the mirror. I mean, yeah, so you don't want to, you don't want to go there. This is Muhammad. And this is why the Muhammadan 
They love to lie to you. They practice muta, they call it marriage. They practice prostitution, they say we don't have it. They practice all kind of filth, like marrying four wives, if we can call it marriage. Even the Muslim in their videos, the women, the Muslim women, she said, I understand you want to have a full intimacy with other women. You have what? Intimacy with, she understand. What is the purpose of the second marriage? He want to have intimacy with other women. This is the purpose of the, the purpose of the second marriage and the third marriage and the fourth marriage. The man, he want to have intimacy with other women. How in the world is this, this is a religion? Do we have any Muslim he don't speak fast? He is willing to call us and join us. Anyone? Don't send me links in, in Skype. I don't open links, I don't open files. I will block you immediately if you do that. Is that uh, the real Christian prince? Yeah, this is the real one. Let me check. Do we have any Mohammedan? Mayday, mayday, mayday. Anyone? Any half one? Any brave Mohammedan? Nobody? Ah, I know what happened. They fainted. They fainted when we showed them the hadith. They fainted when we read the Quran. They fainted when we showed them the interpretation and how they can run away from it. They fainted. The easiest way to run away is to say, I don't care. I don't believe in the hadith. But all of Islam is based on the hadith. What is the five prayers in the Quran? Everything in Islam is based on the hadith. They are fainted like their prophet. Mentally, I look at this. The fainty prophet. Oh, we got a new name for Muhammad. What about guys from now? We say the bewitch, the fainted. How many of you, by the way, save this hadith? I'm glad I remember it last time I was live. And now I'm going to stuck with it, like what Muhammad happened. What happened to Muhammad, you know? Muhammad, he heard that a Jewish woman saying, we seek refuge by God from the punishment of the grave. Muhammad, since he heard that, he never stopped saying that sentence. Any Mohammedan? Anyone? You know, one of the funny things about Mohammedan, if you say to them, son of Muta, they say, why are you insulting us? And then we say, did the Prophet he allow Muta? He said, this is marriage. So why are you upset? If Muta is marriage, you have no reason to be upset because all what I'm saying then, you are son of marriage. Do you see how hypocrite they are? Like those potato, Mimi, Hijab, etc. He says, do he dare to say to me in my face, uh, son of Muta? Okay. Are you saying, what, what, what do you mean? Like, Muta, am I saying you are a son of a prostitution? Uh, is that what you are saying? 
The second you ask him what Muta is, he says to you, it's a marriage. So why are you upset? Because they knew it's not marriage. It is a prostitution. Muhammad, he practiced muta. The Sahaba, they practiced muta. The Caliphate practiced muta in the time of Muhammad's life and after his life, and we can prove it. A pervert. It's not enough all the women he have. It's not enough all the women they have from slavery. Let us show you some reference. <clears throat> Let us see if we can find this reference here. You see, they, 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 and they say, even they say in the hadith, that not a single verse. You see, they deny, they deny that the muta even is exist. This potato, who called me, he said, there's no muta. You're lying. Look what it says here. And this is sahih. There was revealed the verse of Tamatta, the Muta, in the book of Allah. Even they used to do it when they go around the Hajj. They rent women for sex. Uh, Allah, Messenger, commanded to perform it. And no verse was revealed abrogating the Muta verses. And now the Muslim, they will say to you, this is not about muta for sex, this is about the hajj. With the hajj, uh, uh, there is a verse in the Quran that says, do uh, enjoy hajj, uh, hajj is a must. Let us show you another hadith from Al-Bukhari to make it more clear. Because they will do their best to escape it. Read carefully, this is Al-Bukhari. The verse of Hajj Tamatta. There is no Hajj, by the way, in the verse here. They are adding it. Ayatul Mutafi Kitabillah. There is no Hajj. They are adding words. The verses of Muta came down in Allah book, and so performed, performed it with Allah Apostle, and nothing revealed in the Quran to make it illegal. It was narrated, Ibn Abbas said, I heard Omar say, why Allah I forbid you to forbid you, I forbid you to forbid you perform tamatta. Anyway. Uh, let us see more reference so we can laugh. Muta, the religion of Muta.
You see, those the, the one who called me, he says, there's no Mutan Islam, I'm lying. Or what we need to do, we go to Google. And we search only for Islamic websites. To see what the Muslim they say about that I showed you already one but we can show you more this is a very Islamic Sunni website this is not Shia website this is uh, Islam uh, question and answer I'm not using Google translation this is I search in English is Muta marriage is allowed and this is the fatwa number, the page number. Uh, could you please tell us if the concept of temporary marriage, muta marriage, muta mean sexual joy, to enjoy, you know, sex. Summary answer: Muta temporary marriage refer to a man marry a woman a specific length of a time in return of a practical amount of money. Muta marriage was permitted at the beginning of Islam, then was abrogated. And become haram enter the day of judgment do you see it okay where it was permitted here they will give you the answer it's in the Quran where it was forbidden they mentioned to you a hadith and the funny is how Muhammad he mixed things up he mixed doing muta with eating domestic uh, donkey it makes sense. I mean, we put them in the same law. Like, imagine the governor of a, of a, of a country, he signed a law forbidding muta and eating donkey meat in the same law. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as you see here, all of those is here. This is the verse about the muta. And those who you have enjoy sexual relationship with them, give them their wages, not mahar. This false translation. The guy, he said, it doesn't say that. This verse indicate the muta is a permissible, and the word there it doesn't say by the way muhurunna. It says ujurahun. The the sheikh who is making you know he is adding words. Uh, paid them their wages. Uh, here we go. See he put it. You know, it is due their wages. What is the wages for sex? What for? Why you are paying? A, why a woman she will get paid? For she is taking off her clothing, having sex with you. And then if you ask them why it was allowed and later not allowed, they say to you, "Oh, at that time there wasn't war, but Muslims always wasn't war. They never have peace." Since when? Same time as long muta is a prostitution, it, it is war in excuse. Is sin an excuse in the time of war? All what they try to do, and this is the link that we posted for you. All what they try to do is to make it legitimate and good reasoning. But always they fail. But what you expect? This is the religion of uh, you know potato. Somebody saying, uh, Christian princes, why you are afraid of Sheikh Uthmani challenge? Give me a Skype. I will call him right now. Is that the guy who brought the real Quran and the guy who said there is many Messiah? And then we find that this is a notebook. Have nothing to do with the word. Is that the same guy who the Muslim they make videos of him making fun of him how he read Quran? Is that the same guy? I don't want to laugh, but anyway, guys, don't you mention Sheikh Uthman? Let us laugh. Okay, let's take a break here about Muslims join Islam by thousands, by millions, brother. We will find out why people join Islam. Assalamu alaikum. My heart is breaking. Oh, brothers and sisters, my soul is aching. 
Brothers and sisters, did you know that so many people are leaving Islam every day? Liar. Why would anybody leave such a beautiful religion? Liar. Why would they choose to become a sick disbeliever instead? A'udhu Billah. Liar. Brothers and sisters, 100,000 Muslims are leaving Islam every single year. Over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. I'm telling you, this is serious stuff. This is not a joke. This is not a joke, brothers and sisters. Yes, we say that there are 1.6 billion Muslims in the world and Islam is growing day by day. But the standard narrative has holes. And we are not proud of that. And we're not proud of that. Apostates are everywhere. They are among us. They are even people who memorize the Quran. They are prophets of the Quran. The youth are full of doubts. Our youth are full of doubts. And we tell them, doubts? What doubts, man? Doubts? What doubts, man? Have some guts, be a man. Have some guts, be a man. But nobody is answering their questions. And nobody's answering their questions. We tell them to stop questioning and to stop being emotional. And we tell them to be a Chad. Be a Chad. You can do it. I believe in you. But instead, they choose to be bad. We've seen this happen, unfortunately. We've seen this happen to a lot of people. If it continues like this, your child is going to become an apostate. Your, your child is going to become an apostate! Imagine your child, your child, the child that you are raising could end up with the disbelievers, with the kuffar, and go to hellfire. Hellfire will want to swallow them! Hellfire will roast them. Roast them! Toast them. Toast them! Break them. Break them! Shake them. Shake them! Hellfire, hellfire. will annihilate them. And the rest of us will be watching. We'll be watching. Brothers and sisters, we must act now. We must do something about this. And what you can do is to donate to our channel so that we can do something. May Allah keep us firm. Never let us go astray. May Allah keep our children firm. If we don't take constructive steps now, this is going to become an avalanche. It is going to become an avalanche. A tsunami. A tsunami. The apostates, they are everywhere. They don't make it public, they hide it. They are leading prayers. They are leading prayers the masjid. They are still living the life of a religious Muslim. And they are still leading that life while simultaneously declaring their apostates. Brothers and sisters, if you feel as strongly about this as I do, then please donate to us and our cause. You can make a one-time donation or a monthly donation. Please be generous. Please give whatever you can so that we... Uh, you know, we accept, uh, you know, as a Muslim, I accept uh, wives, extra wives, uh, uh, you know, I, I don't care really if they are African or uh, white or Asian, uh, you know, I'm a Muslim, we Muslim, we don't discriminate, especially in bed, uh, which is not true, uh, and uh, all kind of donation, you know, all kind of donation, uh, you know, if, if Ibn Battuta is listening, Ibn Battuta is a very famous historian according to Muslims, Ibn Battuta never lie. I mean, this guy, he tell the truth. He went and he found an island in the middle of the sea. And this island have only women. And the women there, they have three boobs. I decide to take a vacation. I want to go there. An island have only women. And all the women there, they have three boobs. How beautiful. Why in the world anyone want to leave Islam? Are you kidding me? All those videos who are saying there's people, you know, Ali Dawa says 100,000. This is only in USA. According to Al Jazeera, 16,000 leaving Islam a day. Six million a year. This is many years ago. Al Jazeera TV. But don't listen to this guy. All those numbers are not true. We can take the responsibility and Alhamdulillah spread apostasy. Donate now. Help now. You may even receive many gifts in heaven, in paradise, in Jannah. You can get a house next to me or next to some other very good looking man. <laughs> you have an opportunity right now on this Haram New Year. You can do something halal and donate your money to us. Do you want, don't you want, this is what Muhammad used to do, by the way. Muhammad, he saw a bunch of women. He said to them, oh, women. You know, give it charity, charity to who? To him. Donate to me. I saw most of you will go to hell. And then he told them, because you are a stupid, because you are half a brain, because etc. And then the women, they start giving their bracelet, their earrings, their money, their gold, their silver, their rings. And now they will go to heaven. See how easy to go to heaven? Give your earring. 
What about the, the bracelet in your hand? There, there, there. Who is ladies here? Let us see the ladies. Who is wearing the bracelet now? Give a bracelet, your bracelet to Allah Prophet. If you want to go to heaven, women, you better give your bracelet. If your husband asks you, where your bracelet? Don't just tell, you know, tell him I gave it to the sake for the sake of Allah to go to heaven. I just bought a corner lot in heaven. Exactly. Even Allah, he asked for a, for a mortgage. <laughs> Do we have any proud Muslim? Really proud. My friend, I know, I know he's making fun of Islam. I mean, can you really think I do not know he's making fun of Islam? Do you think I'm so slow? Thank you. Thank you for telling me. Guys, a friend of us here telling me that I am, you know, I should understand that this is opposite the prophet. He is making fun. We know this guy himself is an ex-Muslim. Do you think really I'm that slow? To the point I do not know that he's making fun? But he's using their own words in their own videos, speaking about how many Muslims live in Islam. It's going to be an avalanche. If we search right now, or uh, Mr. Uh, Holes in the narrative. You will see how many people leave in Islam because of the, you know, and you know, and Ali Dawa, by the way, he is so good to refute people who, uh, you know, like they question Islam. We have to be honest, these guys, and look, when you open their channel, they ask you to buy things. What is that, chips? I see a cow there. What is this, Ali Dawa? What are you selling, man? The chicken? and a spring lamp increase energy level and better health are you saying to me muslims they cannot have sex in bed like muhammad what are you saying in your channel man what what is this look 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 at the product i mean this guy you know what is what? there's different flavor uh, uh muhammad hijab he sell he sell the black seed the black seed, according to Muhammad, is the one can make can heal you from any disease. Yet Muhammad himself is so sick, he died in a very horrible way. So, okay, now what happened? What happened? What happened to everybody? Care to brothers and sisters and dear friends, welcome once again to my channel, Majuj and Majuj. Allah uh -huh. subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about them in the Quran. Yeah. They are mentioned specifically in a hadith, brothers and sisters. Uh -huh. Now, one thing that a lot of people make a mistake, we've yeah? seen, uh -huh. you know, people of knowledge. Yeah? is that they try to comprehend and understand stupid people are you trying to comprehend i mean do you see the mistake that muhammad and they do they are trying to comprehend how you do that how stupid people are you try to comprehend are you mental? How dare you? And the funny is, the Quran says Allah made the book so clear. But now the Muslims cannot comprehend. And uh, Lili Dawa is advising you not to comprehend because you cannot comprehend because the Quran is so stupid. How is who is Yajuj and Majuj? Where are they? How could they stay in a cave for so long? And did what cave, Betito? What cave? They are behind the dam. Now it's a cave. Dig, dig, and just when they're about to come out, and obviously there's issues, some say there's issues with that. No, some, I mean, some, not. some parts of it. I, I mean, I know now why this guy became the girlfriend of uh, Muhammad Hijab. Both of them, they speak from their note. <laughs> what you just said, what? So are you saying the Muslims are questioning how come we cannot find a huge nation their percentage is 1,000 to 1, which means 1,000 from them 
1,000 human. So if we are 7 billions, there are 7 trillions, yet we cannot find them. And we cannot find the dam which is built by Zul Qurnayn between us and them. And not to forget to mention, if the earth, if Muhammad don't believe the earth is a flat, how you can prevent those people from coming to us? Unless the earth is a flat. <laughs> Correct, guys? If you have a backyard, let us say your backyard is a square. And then you build a wall in the middle of your backyard. The other part cannot go around because there is an edge. That's it. They are in the space. The wall will stop them. Not to forget to mention that you can go from the side of the way a wall. But eh. but this is a proof actually the verses in the about Gog and Magog that the stupid Muhammad all over the Quran. And we made a video about it. You can go watch it. Saying it clearly, the earth is a flat. You know, uh, not authentic. Whatever it may be, I'm not trying to get into that. Okay. Oh no, no, don't you get. Know, and then Rukarnain um, and you know, there's so many speculations, etc. Speculation. And a lot of people come, and they're like. They come. Don't talk dirty. Oh, you don't mean come as come, because you were talking about intimacy in the previous video. Sorry. Some people even get into doubt with this matter. Some individuals even oh. leave Islam, and I'm like. No way. They leave Islam. I, what's the issue here? What? Let me tell you guys the crux of the matter because there are a lot of people and a lot of individuals who have tried to make people understand this and even push the narrative of these certain ex-Muslims, you know, that, you know, people uh, are leaving Islam. And now he will start like, those ex-Muslim brother, do you know why they leave Islam? Because they want to have sexual intimacy with the women, so they leave Islam. A second ago, we were watching a video about Muslims. They can have intimacy with four women. So if a person is seeking for more women to intimacy, he will stay in Islam. Because Islam gave it to him legally. If we can call it legally. At least in the pervert Muhammad religion. Because of this apparently, yeah? Uh, which I just heard one individual. And yeah, that's 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 because yeah, you don't know, yeah, have intimacy that's that's with a lot of girls or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. This issue at all, yeah? It was more yeah, of his desires. That's 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 that we fall for this and then what we try to do is in return is like I know let's try to bring it down to a logical level and try to explain it in a logical way now I've seen many people do these videos okay many people one of those were, uh, was uh, Dr. Yasser Qadi you know the thing is now it's Ramadan I'm not here to talk about anybody I talk about people only in their back not in Ramadan in Ramadan I cannot do that um, etc okay I don't want to make anything to ruin my fast, my Ramadan, no, etc. No, no. Don't All please. I'm saying is, obviously, there's a lot of things I don't agree with Dr. Yasser Qadi, uh -huh. uh, and there's things I agree with also. So the thing is here, it's just I don't want to get into the details of the nitty-gritty. The point I'm trying to make is he also done a video on this matter. The point I'm trying to say, and what I don't understand is this. Why do we have to understand everything in the context? Thank you. The Quran says we made the Quran clear and Muslim admitted like why we want to understand everything just believe man don't understand it's a fiction story obviously proving Muhammad to be a big fraud text where why does it always have to be logical why does it have to when they ask him about the Trinity he said it's not logical when we ask him about Gog and Magog, why does it have to be logical? <laughs> what has come back? So in the Trinity, the Trinity is not logical. Okay, why is not logical? God is one and three. Okay, it's not logical. For who? For a man to be one and three in the at the same time or for God? Do you see the stupidity? When you speak about logic, and then you are a person who believe someone, you call him God, you call him Almighty. That means what is logical when it's come to miracles or ability, you know, the logic is that God can do everything. He can be three and one. He can be one and billion. Isn't he God? If he cannot, then he cannot be God too. Very simple. In fact, today I was going to go talk about a video it's in the info actually I have it in the info you can watch it if you speak Arabic and in this video the Sheikh he is saying there's many things Allah cannot do Allah do not know the future Allah cannot kill himself Allah cannot have kids Allah cannot get married Allah 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 and then yet they say to us 
that is almighty we will watch it maybe next time but the Muslims when they call us we have you know we changed our our direction why it have to be logical it could be something where we're like oh explain it to me logically or you know I'm gonna start doubting things this is exactly why shaitan fell into disbelief. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him to do something, bow down to Adam, he couldn't comprehend logically. Ah, logically. See, Satan, he could not comprehend logically how stupid Allah is because the story in the Quran says, Allah, he command the angels to bow down to Adam. So logically, if Allah, he punished the angels, why shaitan should bow down? Logically. If I say all the cats get out, why the dog need to get out? Logically, stupid people, stupid religion, stupid cult. We are here for many hours already. I hope we have a good time. Don't forget to subscribe and then unsubscribe and then subscribe because if you do so, Allah will support you and Allah will guide you to unsubscribe button. Let's just pray to Allah to make people subscribe and unsubscribe. And then this is subscribe, subscribe, and subscribe, subscribe. Let us make dua for Allah to make the penis of a prophet Muhammad stay strong and not to get weak again as it used to be 1400 years ago. Let us pray for Allah to make Muhammad not to faint and wake up and faint and wake up and faint and wake up and faint and wake up like what he does all the time. And your prayer, brother, always is going to be answered. This is why the Prophet, his prayer never been answered. Let us pray to Allah to make me convert to Islam and have four women who are willing to share their husband. We want to go camping. In the camp, there is other women there, Muslim women too. My wife, she will call the women there, hey, what do you do tonight? Oh, nothing. Do you like to share my husband with me? Yeah, really? Yes, yes. Both of us. If you have more friends, you can invite them. Oh, okay. Actually, we have in the tent 12. Can we come all of us? Oh, no. 12 is too much because my husband, um, to be honest with you, I mean, hardly he can have sex with one, but he can use his uh, <clears throat> his fingers and sometimes his nose. Um, so what about like uh, you, your friend, other friend, maybe three, three and me, four is enough, the tent is small. Okay, I'm coming tonight. Should we wear anything? No, no, no need. Just take everything off. It is haram to be wearing clothes. You have to have sexual intimacy hello what's wrong with you we want to have fun yeah this is the religion of allah yeah brother you know just tell every woman you know like okay yeah share your wife share your husband what about sharing the wife in fact there is a book it's you know in the book it says istiaratul furuj borrowing a vagina what but this will open a huge topic you know uh, and that will make us stay for another 10 hours, maybe. However, my friend, Islam is a decent religion. It's a decent religion. If you hear people saying it's not, they are liars. They are kuffar. Don't listen to them. Isti'aratul furuj. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, thank you very much for being here and then until we see you soon again don't forget to subscribe and you can join us in patreon to receive notification and uh, uh, in, you know my videos is for free uh, in patreon you do, not, you do not need to donate for sure we appreciate people who support us but if you don't 
the Lord is our provider. I want to say thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. God is good and Allah is a fraud. He's filthy. We prove it every day. And as you see, they are in this ability. Talking machine, they talk a lot, but they say nothing. And always we get them busted. God bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. See you soon.